This is a book review of Kirby is Fantastic from Marvel Comics. This book came out in 2019, part of their ongoing series of monster and massively weighing, this weighs a ton, from Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. There's 320 pages in this book, and what an amazing book it is. Of course, the stories are fairly familiar. If you're a fan of Fantastic Four, you've probably got these stories many times before, maybe in epic or omnibus editions, etc. But this is in really massive. Now, the only equivalent, I think, is the IDW books. You can see those massive ones with, obviously, the inked pages in there. But, obviously, some of these stories, I'm not certain if the inked pages even exist. So, uh, I think they've done an absolutely wonderful job. So, I'm just going to show you examples of this. Now, I'm just going to open up the book. And you can see there some of the artwork. And it really does weigh a lot, this book. So... Just going to flick through some of these pages. My apologies for if I turn it to a page that you're not particularly interested in, but I can't really do much more than just briefly turn like that. You've got some absolutely brilliant pages there. So, And you can see it's all predominantly colour all the way through. There's a little bit of bonus material at the back, very little, a couple of pages at most. The binding, I just got to show you that so you can just see there. And um, I know you're going to turn around and say, well, can you hold it open? Well, you can, but it's one hand, it's going to be tricky. But you can see it's just, like I say, why quality paper is superb. The actual artwork inside here is absolutely fine. I mean, I have to say, when you look through this, and you, obviously it's better with the later ones, but you go back to the, and this has got like a whole load of stories, and it's got some classics. It's got the, uh, let's just go through the stories. So Fantastic Four, and it's got the covers on the back there, so you can see that. Fantastic Four, number four, 12, 25 to 26, 52 to 53, and 66 to 67, 84 to 87, and the annual six. Now, of course, you've got Submariner and Fantastic Four. That's really, really nice. And you go to that story, that's the first story. And you've got the, the colours are really, I think, are great. I love the colouring. Lots of people don't. They prefer the old style. But I think the quality of the line work is absolutely fairly decent. It's not particularly excessive. There's a bit of sort of darkening of the line. But generally, I think the, the artwork looks superb. Then you've got the Hulk story. So you've got the Hulk. That's the first one, obviously, in between when he wasn't, when he didn't have his own title. So you've got some. Now, that one does have slight problems with some of the pages. There's panels here. There's a, a scene there with the, the characters there. Bruce Banner, of course, Ross, etc. And I would say the quality of the line is not perfect in that one. That's probably the weakest one. If you look through the rest, number 25, again, it's a Hulk story. But it's a classic one, Thing versus the Hulk but also the Avengers in the storyline, and I love that one. Got the original as well. I could probably should bring that down and compare it, but the, comic, the original comics, of course, the comics are about a quarter the size of this, maybe even smaller. But you've got like a dramatic there, you've got the Hulk just coming out there, just superb. And that looks really very well. No, there's no sort of pixelization or anything problems there. I just think it's beautiful. Colours great all the way through. And then, like I say, you go through to the stories. Now, of course, everyone will have their favourite Fantastic Four stories. This is obviously including the, the brilliant Black Panther one. But uh, I would have included the Frightful Four. I loved Frightful Four stories. And maybe the Inhuman stories. Super Scroll story was a favourite of mine as well. Of course, that's not included. So you've got some, so you've got Claw, of course, the character Claw, the master of sound. And then you've got the classic. Now, of course, it's missing the... Galactus stories, but they were in the earlier Behold Galactus one. So that's, if you want the Galactus stories, that's the place to find the Galactus stories. So you've got wonderful hymn stories, or Warlock, of course, Adam Warlock. And then you've got the Annual. And then you've got the brilliant, I think one of the classic, Doctor Doom stories. I love that Doctor Doom. But again, I like the scroll story that's near the end as well, where the thing gets dragged off to a, a world where he has to fight in gladiators. And, and that's a really great story. But, of course, that's not included. So you can only include so many stories. Obviously, it'd be lovely if there was another volume, two or three volumes, to include a lot more of the classics. But this, there's Doctor Doom on that panel. Just an absolute... And that's really, really sharp-looking quality. 
I mean, that's really good. So I don't know how they've uh, done this, where they've done, obviously, the original films. So I assume they must have done. But it's really sharp. It looks just amazing. And so it's got a little bit of bonus material. It's got a, sort of one of the Marvel Masterwork covers, I think, there. And also you've got the Black Panther. The Black Panther there. But So the paper quality, like I say, is brilliant. Colour's great. The story, but it's one of those ones where you really need a book stand. You're certainly not going to be reading it, holding it up like, oh, I read it like a normal book. It's not going to be like that unless you're uh, someone that's uh, just won super heavyweight uh, weightlifting competition or something. But or maybe you're like Superman. Superman have no problem with this, but most normal people will not find it very easy. But I love these ones, and like I say, I hope they bring out more. I'm looking forward to the. We've got the Stranko one coming out fairly soon. There's also other volumes that I've still got to get. I've still got to get the Doctor Strange one as well, Ditko. So I'm looking forward to that. So this one, fantastic. Kirby is fantastic, and it's certainly for me an absolute fantastic volume. Thoroughly enjoyable.